Hey, what's going on guys? So I actually have a really busy week. I have a bunch of appointments. I need to work on my next JS course. So I don't have time to do, uh, to put together a project for a tutorial, but I did want to do something I haven't done in uh, quite a while. And that's a setup tour or a home, home office tour, whatever you want to call it. And basically just bring you guys into my world and show you, um, you know, what I do, where I work and, and what I use and, um, kind of a little bit of my process and a little bit of my hobbies and so on. And, uh, and I do this for a few reasons. One, I just enjoy doing it. I enjoy watching setup videos myself. I love technology. I love gadgets. Uh, but more importantly, I like to do it for kind of an inspiration because it, for those of you that don't know kind of my backstory, um, I didn't grow up with money. I didn't grow up getting things handed to me and I fell into a cycle of drug addiction. Uh, I was in and out of detoxes. I was in and out of jail. Uh, I was homeless. I've, I've been, you know, to points where I wanted to take my own life. So I've been rock bottom and, um, I was able to really turn things around when I found out I was going to be a dad and I had to, you know, I was, I was going to be responsible for another human being. So I ended up finding something I really enjoyed, which was programming. And I just dove head first into that and I became successful. I really excelled, uh, was able to start my own business, was able to, to get a job as a developer and then ultimately was able to become a teacher and start creating content, which is what I do now. And, um, and I just like to share my story, not, not to, to put the focus on me, but just to give other people inspiration. And obviously I know there's people that are in even lower places than I was back then, but it can be done. And I just like to kind of be an example of that. All right. So enough with the mushy stuff. I just wanted to kind of pre pre preface that, uh, preface this video with that. So you don't think I'm just some douche showing off my stuff. All right. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, guys, so we have quite a bit to go through. So I'm gonna try to go kind of fast. I'm not gonna explain every little, you know, specification of every item or anything like that. So basically this is right side of the basement is like the play area, the theater, and then on the left is the workstation. There's basically two workstations here, which I'm gonna go over. So we'll start over here. This is the Windows PC. So we have the Windows on this side and then the Mac on the other side. And uh, I use this station for pretty much everything, just email, social media. I do code here. I do a lot of research. I do, uh, you know, creating tutorial projects for YouTube and so on. Um, so we'll start off with the desk itself, which is an uplift desk. It's a, it's a sit-stand desk. It's mechanical. And uh, it's a 72-inch. So uplift, you can customize it. You can customize the length. You can um, customize the shape and the texture and color and all that. So I love these desks. I have one here, the same one on the other side, and I have another smaller one upstairs in the, 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 you know, the family office. So it's mechanical. I can switch it to a preset. So two is my standing preset. So you can see it just raises up. And I just, I just fixed the cable management. You can see everything is nice and neat tucked under there. Um, so that's the standing position. I'm just gonna put it back down. So that's the desk. It's very, very sturdy, love it. So for the PC, this is actually the first PC in years that I got that I didn't build myself. Usually I'll order all the parts and I enjoy putting them together, but I just haven't had the time lately. Um, so this is a pre-built from Asus and I forget the exact model. I'm gonna try to put all the stuff in the description, all the models and links, but this is a really powerful PC. It's an Intel i9 processor, uh, 32 gigs of RAM. It has a, a 2080 Ti RTX graphics card. So really powerful, <clears throat> excuse me. But uh, yeah, so it's pre-built. Again, I'll have the link for that in the description. And for the monitor, I'm using a, a, a 49 inch Samsung widescreen. And I, I Recent, well, not too recently, maybe six months ago, I switched out my three 4K monitors for this. I had three 28 inch monitors. And it's less real estate, but still more than I need. Plenty to, you know, have my text editor open, have my browser, my console, all that stuff. Um, I really like it. You know, it's, it's a little lower resolution than I had before, but everything still looks really great. It's great for gaming. I don't do too much gaming these days on the PC, but uh, it is a great gaming monitor as well. 
So for peripherals, um, keeping it pretty simple these days, I used to have all kinds of, you know, RGB gadgets. I'm trying to clean things up and keep it more elegant. Uh, I'm just using the Magic Keyboard here because I want to stay consistent. I have that on the other station, so I just want to use the same keyboard on both. Usually, I'll go with a mechanical keyboard. I'll show you I have like four or five of them, um, but I've just been using this lately. And for the mouse, it's a Logitech Pro wireless mouse with the uh, mouse pad that charges it. So that's pro I would say that's probably my favorite mouse uh, that I've used. And then for audio, I just have some creative Bluetooth speakers back there. And that's what that remote goes to that you can see there. And then way back there is a stream deck. I don't do live streams yet, but I do use it to just quickly open up websites and, and applications. Uh, and eventually I will use it for streaming. And then on this station, I just have a simple webcam for Zoom calls and stuff. It's just, uh, it's the Logitech, I think it's the C920. And then for the microphone, this is a, a Rode NT-USB. I have the same microphone on the other station where I do all my recording. I don't use this mic too much, but uh, it is here if I need it. And it's on, a, you know, obviously it's on the, the arm. I forget what arm this is, but uh, it is a Rode arm. And then the chair is a DX Racer. So I don't, again, I don't know the exact model number, but I've had this chair for uh, quite a few years. I plan on getting something different. I do love the look of the DX Racers, but um, they're not great for your back and for your neck, and, and I have issues in that area. So I'm gonna be looking at some Herman Miller chairs, some other suggestions that I got from some of you guys on Twitter as well. Uh, but I do like the look of these, these racing chairs. I have the same one on the other station, which I'll show you in a, in a few minutes. So that's pretty much it for this desk. To the left, we have I guess the network station. So this is my wireless router. I'm using the Amazon Eero, Aero. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's a mesh network. So basically I have this, and then I have one on the first floor, one on the second floor, so that you know all the smart TVs and, and everything can, will work well. Because before I got this, I just had a regular um, Netgear router and the, the, the bedroom TVs wouldn't connect to, to Hulu or Netflix or anything like that. So really nice uh, mesh network. Then this is my NAS, my network attached storage. It's a Synology disk station, a nine, I think it's a, what is it? Nine, 18, 918 plus. And it's a four bay disk station. So there's four, four terabyte drives in there. I keep all my, my videos, my family photos, everything is on that. It's basically my home server. And it has, uh, has its own little internal OS along with it too, called DSM. And then I have my backup, my battery backup there, just in case the power goes out, it'll keep the router on in, in this main computer. Uh, what else? We got some foam for Echo, which isn't really needed, but I don't know, I think it looks cool. And then I have this strip back there that I got. It just stands up and it just, you can change it, change the RGB, put the controller right here. So there's different modes, there's different uh, effects and colors and stuff. And I have the same one on that side as well. All right, so that's pretty much it for this side. So that's the Windows station along with the, the network stuff. And then on this side is the Mac. So this is where I do all my recording for my courses, my tutorials, everything. And the machine is a Mac Pro. It's a Intel i9, 64 gigs of RAM. It's a really, really great machine. Really overpriced though. Um, I replaced an iMac Pro with it uh, just because I, I didn't, you know, I wanted to have the, scre the identical screens and didn't want the iMac screen. So I ended up getting this maybe a year ago, maybe a little more. And that's what I've been using for, um, for bigger projects, for, like I said, tutorials, courses, and all that. And then the desk is the same exact desk that I just showed you, 72 inch uplift. Um, the monitors here, these are two LG. I always get confused on the size. It's either, they're either 34 or 38, um, but the, it's, it's quite a bit of real estate, way more than I need. Um, basically when I record, I'll have on this side, my cheat sheet or sample code, whatever I'm using. And then on this side, I'll have a, a, a you know, a 1080, um, box cutout where I do all my recording, where I have VS Code in the project. 
and all that. So this is every video you watch, this is where I'm making it. And then above the monitors, you'll see I have a DSLR camera. This is the, the Canon T6i. Um, you know, it's not the best camera in the world. It runs about 600 bucks. I do have the T7i as well, which I'm, I'm gonna replace this with. Um, but this is what I use to make all my talking head videos. So even the, the intro to this video was on that camera. And I have that on an arm that I have uh, built into the wall right there. So it, it gives me a little trouble if I want to stand on this desk because I have to, you know, move all that out of the way. So I don't really stand on this particular desk. Um, well, not stand on the desk, but, you know, stand while I'm working. And then I just have the magic keyboard. This mouse is, this is a cheap mouse, but it's silent. Like it doesn't make any clicky noises. That's why I got it so that you don't have to listen to clicking in the, in the videos. Um, that thing back there, some of you guys are probably wondering about that. That's a, it's a Wi-Fi clock by Lametric, I think. Um, it's about 200 bucks and of course it's a clock, but it has t different apps you can install on it. I have the YouTube app and you can show your subscribers. There's also a Twitter app, Instagram. You can show stock prices. So there's, it's pretty cool. There's different apps you can install to display different things. And then the microphone, again, a Rode NT-USB. I do have the Shure SMB7, which is like, you know, the really popular high-end mic that you see on, you know, Joe Rogan and podcasts, but uh, I had just haven't gotten to hook it up yet. And I think that the, the Rode sounds pretty good. And then I just have a simple uh, C920 webcam up there as well. And then let's see the chair. The chair is the same as the other one. It's a DX Racer. It's just red instead of white. We got some red LED lights under there. And again, we have that strip. And then these are my lights for recording. So that one and that one, um, just to give me some more light because I'm, I am in a basement. We do have windows down here, as you can see, but there's actually a porch right above the windows. So there's not too much natural light. So those are good for that. Um, they're by newer, N-E-W-W-E-R. So I'll, I'll have the link for those as well. Uh, and I think that's pretty much it. We have some Ikea Alex drawers under there for you know all my tax crap, uh, paper, paperwork. And then in this closet, I just I actually just cleaned this last week. So you can see everything's nice and neat. All my tech stuff, um, batteries, cameras, all my boxes for microphones, screws, wires, I organized every, everything. These are all full of like chargers and stuff like that. Um, oh, on this side, I have like my, my mechanical keyboards. So we have the, the Kinesis Freestyle Edge, which is a split keyboard. I didn't really like that. Uh, I might do a giveaway and give that away. The Logitech Pro uh, G Pro keyboard, that's probably my favorite mechanical keyboard. Uh, Corsair Strafe, we have a Razer mechanical keyboard, the Corsair K70, RGB, I used that for a really long time. And then all my boxes for all my Apple stuff, uh, camera, equipment, speakers, things like that. So. All right, so that's pretty much it for this side. Let's go over here. So you guys probably see this in the background of my videos all the time. I have my MacBook Pro there. That's a 2019 version, I believe, 15 inch. Um, I use that, you know, when I go out. I don't really use it much at home. I use it if I go to a coffee shop or to a hotel or something like that. Um, we have just a, you know, simple little couch that I got from Amazon which with some Traversy Media pillows. A little light there that changes colors, some fake plants. Um, that's the T, the Canon T7i DSLR and then a Sony 4K Handycam. And then of course, the uh, 100K silver play button and the gold uh, 1 million subscriber button, which I'm very, very proud of. And then up there, as I said, it's the Shure SMB, I think it's, I think that's what it is, SMB7 microphone. It's an XLR mic, so it, it's not USB. You have to plug it into the interface, which you can see I have right next to it. And then that other mic is an, an Audio-Technica 2020. That's, uh, I think that was the first mic that I got. No, the Yeti was the first mic, that was the second. Uh, the AT2020 is great for people that are just starting out. It's really cheap, it's under a hundred bucks. Um, got some books over here, some programming books, which I haven't 
looked at in years. Um, yeah, Python, JavaScript, Eloquent JavaScript, which I think is in there, is actually a really good book. I'm not a huge book person, but that is a good JavaScript book. Got a sign there just to, you know, let people know. <laughs> My wife has the same one in her art room. And then just some camera stuff down there. Um, then we have the built-in fireplace, which is hooked up to the thermostat, so it automatically goes on. Um, obviously, it's not a real fireplace, but it gives off, you know, a good amount of heat. Up here, just some pictures. I have a signed boxing glove from uh, Mickey Ward, who's a popular boxer here in Massachusetts from Lowell, Mass. So here we have the theater seats. Got some movie pillows. So basically just, you know, three seats. Me and my wife and daughter will watch a movie down here once in a while. I come down and play PlayStation or whatever. And uh, this isn't, I mean, it's not the, the best seats. This is kind of wobbly, but they're all right. They recline. And uh, you can see my ass print and elbow print. <laughs> Little table next to it for my clickers, my controllers. Um, then we have the TV, which is a Samsung 75 inch. This whole unit here is built into the wall. This was here when we moved in. Um, so I can't really have anything much bigger. I could probably fit an 85 inch and move the speakers back. I may do that or I may hang, hang a TV on the wall. Uh, but yeah, so that's 75 inch and then for the stereo, it's a Denon receiver, which I got about, I don't know, six months ago. Sounds pretty good. We'll get some Polk speakers. So the, you know, the regular right left speakers, the center speaker there, the bass box, that's all Polk. And then we get the, the uh, surround sound up there and up there. So sounds pretty good. You know, whether you're watching a movie, playing video games, whatever. As far as games, PS4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, got the throwback Nintendo and Super Nintendo, if you can see that down there, Blu-ray player. Um, I don't have a PS5 yet, still waiting to, to get one. I don't really trust scalpers, so I'm just wait, waiting for it to you know come in, into the stores. And then got a little drone there, some movies, video games, more gaming stuff. And then on this side, we have my music stuff. Um, this is my DJ setup. So I've been DJing off and on since I was I don't know, 17. I got my first set of turntables and uh, I, I, you know, I'm not great, but it's just a hobby. I like to spin old school hip hop, break beats, even like house music, EDM, whatever. Uh, this is a Pioneer S9 mixer, which is kind of like the, the the battle mixer uh, it's used for like turntablism scratching uh, then the the turntables are pioneer PL, plx 1000s and i know if if any of you guys are you know old school djs you know that the techniques 1200s are kind of like top tier um, these i like just as much i've had the 1200s and these you know they don't skip they're they're i, I really like these and uh, i wanted it all to match pioneer so Get the Pioneer mixer, the turntables, and then this controller up here where you can program, you know, cue points and have effects and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, all this is hooked up to the laptop, the MacBook Pro 13 inch. And uh, it's digital vinyl, so I don't have to have actual records. It's ba This is basically like a blank record and whatever I load on the computer will play on this record and I can scratch and do all that. So. Uh, it's, it's awesome compared to, you know, when I was 17, what we had to deal with then, digging through crates. And we got the MacBook Pro with the record box software. That's what I use to, to kind of load all my music. And we'll go ahead and close that out. <laughs> and then up here we have all my Tupac uh, albums. So I'm a big 90s hip hop fan. Grew up listening to, you know, Tupac, Wu-Tang Clan, Biggie. Uh, so I collected all the Tupac albums and Put them all in nice cases. I plan to fill up this whole wall with albums. And then we got the Edifier, Edifier speakers. I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but uh, these these sound pretty good. They have a lot of bass. This is these are the only speakers that um, you know that are hooked up to to this set here, and it sounds pretty good. Some cubes under there with more needles and uh, audio wires and stuff. So this keyboard. I don't really use this. I just got it mostly for the kids. My son comes down here and plays with it. 
Um, so we get that, got some music pop figures up here, Tupac, Biggie, Metallica, uh, what else, Rob Zombie. So any music pop figures that I could find, I put up there. Over here is a giant picture of Wu-Tang Clan. My sister actually paint, she made this for me. She's an artist, she does, um, she's a tat prof professional tattoo artist and she made this. And I just, I think it's freaking incredible. And then down here, we got a fridge with some fake jellyfish. I don't know, I saw this thing on, on a Facebook ad and they look real, so it's pretty cool. And it, it, it shuts off after a few hours, but uh, yeah, I think it looks pretty cool. And that's pretty much it. So we get the entrance way here, my slippers, and some pop figures, some horror figure, horror um, characters, and superhero characters, and all that. But yeah, got a bathroom down here. So this is this is it. This is where I work, play. Um, I spend you know most of the day down here, and then I go up, you know, eat with the family, do some family stuff, play with the kids, but. This is it. So I just wanted to kind of share this with you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it and I will see you next time.